This is so exciting. Thank you so much. This is like, I think we're the, f the very first literary panel for the Chorter event. That was a huge build up. Um, hearts beating quite loudly now. Um, I think we've just got to let the other people in. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Nina Stibby. Where are you, Nina? I'm here. Hooray, Nina Hello, Stibby. Nina. Where is Faye? She's there. Hello, Hello Faye. Hi, hi. Wonderful. Hey. And then from Ireland, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Michelle Gallon. I'd like to enable, where is Michelle? Michelle is there. Yeah. Wonderful. We look so royal. And last but not least, oh my God, we are blessed this evening. <laughs> we only have, don't we, Victoria Woods biographer, Jasper Reese, please come in, Jasper. Hey, where is Jasper? Now people are getting a little bit there. I'm here. You're Hello. there, wonderful. Hi. And come so this is so exciting. But first of all, I'm going to go to Nina Stibby because um Nina Stibby won the 2020 uh, Comedy Women in Print Prize um with reasons to be cheerful, which is so so funny. So um um Nina, what did you feel like when you were on the pretend Zoom call and you thought you were being talked to and then you discovered that you had one? I mean, your excellent oh, book. It, it must was, have been a oh, surprise. Oh, it was lovely. No, it was a surprise. It was a huge surprise. I didn't think I was going to win it at all. And I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't really take it in. I was, I was shocked because the shortlist was so good. Yeah. You know, you'd got... Um, Michelle, because <laughs> she's in the room. Michelle, uh, Good to name check uh, her. Can I just say that what has happened to Michelle's book? Um, I'd like to say since being shortlisted. Obviously, I'm going to quit. It's going to take because why wouldn't I? Um, yeah, I mean, your life has changed forever. Um, what's yeah. happened? It's been um, <laughs> nominated for an Irish Book Award, optioned by a TV company. Kathy Burke yeah. wants to be your best friend. Quite <laughs> jealous now. Uh, Robbie Doyle <laughs> named it as one of his top three. I mean, yeah, lovely. <laughs> The TV interest happened around that time. There were about six companies in in the process. And oh my that, god! Yeah, and then that dragged on oh. for a while, and oh. then we were shortlisted for Quip, which was terribly exciting. And again, I really enjoyed every day and celebrated it all. And um, and then we were able to announce the TV deal at the same time the Irish Book Awards. I came think out I might Christmas. have to ask you to stop now because it's quite upsetting for some <laughs> other people. Who I mean, we're here, we're feeling your success. Um, and we embrace and love your Ten success. years to get a publisher. Yeah, right? Faye, because we're just going from left to right. You won the unpublished um, Comedy Women in Print Prize. Um, and you're a comedy improviser. Um, I, uh, I sort of started doing improv comedy around about the time I started writing, actually. And, um, and I found that one sort of fed the other. So, um, so when I'd be doing improvisation and sketch work. And I think a lot of improv as well is about allowing yourself to fail and fail really happily because mm. improv is all about it going horribly wrong most of the time. So I think as a writer that sort of really translated because you could, you could allow yourself to fail and say, no, this isn't working and I need to go back a little bit and I need to, you know, move forwards. But also there's loads of things I could I could go on for the whole hour about improv. And, That's and good because if they're quiet, if they're quiet <laughs> then you've given me a, a, a place to go. I, it's enabling. Thank you. But Jasper, you've written this amazing. Um, I mean, can I just say a really corny thing? It's the book that keeps on giving. I know that because like uh, it's big. I mean, how long do normal people take to read such a thing? The, the, the actual text stops on page. 506 so uh I there, are a lot, like there are a lot I, of notes and and uh, i'm index, so admiring of the length um i i i think the length <laughs> is is totally relevant um to <laughs> this this purse i feel like i might have set off a raw nerve there jasper about the length <laughs> we like not at all not at all. i am i am feeling a bit sensitive about it because you know, i have, we, oh, I have oh no shame God, no did you know victoria how did you get all the details <laughs> Um, I interviewed her a lot over the period of a decade uh, from 1999, and uh, I think she must have just tolerated me. The failure led her to be who she was. Can you talk about failure? Because that's the theme of comedy, of course. After she left university or 
um, she she appeared in New Faces, which was the sort of Britain's Got Talent of its day. And she, um, you know, she won a heat and then she thought, oh, I'm set up. And there are some quite sweet interviews from the time in which she very confidently predicts she's going to have this great career. And it took her four years of slogging around just, as you say, failing, being in not very good shows, uh, being in very, very yeah. tiny shows with tiny audiences. And she got very depressed. And then eventually she met Julie Walters and, uh, and they were in a review show in Shepherd's Bush together. And that changed absolutely everything. Yeah, but I'm jumping back to yeah. Nina. I mean, you have hit the big time. You are everyone's darling now. That's what I what fascinates me is that my books were meant to be, you know, quite serious and quite deep. But because Love Nina came out and it was funny, People looked for the funny, and I, that fascinates me because I think. Yeah, but I'll tell you why you're funny. Because when I, for instance, you just understand names, and this is what Victoria Wood does, um, did like uh, Dalrymple and McWilliam, and no, Dalrymple, McWilliam, and Wintergreen. Mm. I just think those are beautiful names. You just yeah. made them up. Who yeah. were they? Dentists? No, they dental. Dentists. They were dentists. Um, Michelle, <laughs> I, I noticed um, that. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of lists. There's um, Nina does a list. Um, Victoria Wood does lists in a, you know words. Du, 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 you know, like Jess was talking about rhythm. Um, I like your list at the very beginning, which is handy if you're trying to quote from somebody's book. Please, God, let it be at the open page. Um, so Magella, who your heroine that everyone obviously now has fallen in love with in the way that they have with Nina. Um, um, so her top 10 uh, of stuff in her head that she wasn't keen on. I mean, already, I just, you've got me at that. I just I like, mm. don't we all get that? We just know. Yeah. Small talk, bullshit and gossip, physical contact, <laughs> noise, bright lights, scented stuff, Hunter. Not sure what Hunter is, um, but it, I Mrs. think it's Mrs. Gaelic. Hun Mrs. Hunter, she's a, a character, but Magella calls her Hunter for Okay, fine. Here's a question. Um, is there anyone or anything you can all agree is funny? Does that make sense as a question? It does it make sense. But I'm, okay, go. I'm, go not, I'm not sure there's something that's funny for everyone. Even the fart jokes that kids are supposed to like. I had one kid who thought farts just were just so not funny. And the other yeah. one thinks the funniest thing going is his bare arse. He just <laughs> thinks if, if people look sad, what they need is mm. his bare arse. I like the fart. Uh, personally, I'm of the fart genre. I'm drawn to the fart. Um, Nina, you um, humour so, so just, what What is funny? Well, I think, I think one thing that is funny to everybody is recognition. So it, obviously it's different things, but when you f see yourself... Seeing yourself. That's yeah. funny. But of course, yeah. you because we're different, we'll see different things. But I think Are that's where Victoria Wood was so spectacular. I agree. And that's why she needs the book. Faye, what is your funny? I think um, I was going to say something similar to Nina, I suppose, which is truth. I think I think yes. people people find truth funny. They can yes. see, if they can see a truth of the situation and smile and know inside. Oh yeah, no, I would I can totally see that, or I can totally do yeah. that, or even if they can anticipate the truth of what's going to happen next. I mm. think that's... going back to your original question to me earlier about like what makes quickfire so important and things is because it is a vehicle to say to to say it's okay to write a funny book and people want to read funny books and we should celebrate having funny books and celebrate funny people and funny women in particular and and yeah. I still think we're learning our way through that and we're still learning how to actually do that and Victoria was you know right at the start of that but we I still think we're I still think and she developed way. and developed and developed I think with opportunity with, with some you know with some applause if you like metaphorical as well people grow and yeah. what this is about it, you know it's through opportunities you know they're very successful we know actors and comedians out there who don't get the success they feel they sh should have had earlier on in the 80s anyway no, <laughs> just joking um that's why i said why is that why did that oh, we're going into a breakout room everyone yeah. Sorry, I thought it was a breakfast. <laughs> um, as a, and we join it. So loving the audience, please come back for our unique panel going forward. Only these people are in my panel. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.